Bonjour tout le monde. Year 7 today, we are going to say what we are going to do, and this is lesson 3 in the series. As always, you need a pen, some paper, and obviously your voice. So go and get yourself sorted, and then we'll get started. So, as I said, we're going to say what we're going to do, and therefore our objective today is to use the near future, which is when we say what we are going to do. We need to revise the verb aller because that's the most important part of what we're going to do to be able to say what we are going to do, so to go. So on your pieces of paper, can you write down the parts of aller that are missing? I'm going to give you about eight seconds. If you need some more time, pause me and then come back when you're ready. Off you go. Right, let's have a look, see if you've got them right. So you should have, je vais, tu vas, il, elle, en va, nous allons, vous allez, ils vont. And remember, you can practice this if you YouTube Etienne with the verb aller. A nice song for you to revise with. Just a reminder as well, what does the verb aller mean when we conjugate it? So je vais is I go or I am going. So remember in French, there's no difference between go and am going. It's the same part in the French. Je vais, I go or I'm going. Tu vas, you go and you are going. Il, elle, on va. So the he, she, that on could be we or you, remember, are going. Nous allons, we are going. Vous allez, you are going. And il and elle vont, they are going. Remembering the difference between the tu and the vous. So the two is singular, one person and somebody that you know, so friendly, so we call it singular and friendly, and the vu is plural or polite, so more than one person or somebody that you need to be polite with. So to form the near future tense, what we do is use this verb ali that we already know and we put it with an infinitive. Can you tell me what an infinitive is? Yep, the whole verb. So before anything happens to it. So here are some examples of infinitives. Can you remember what infinitives end in? They should, should have been telling me that they end in ER, IR or RE. So the biggest, most common group of verbs are the ER verbs and they're the ones I've got the examples of. So the near future tense is the easiest way to talk about what you are going to do. So you simply put whichever part of Ali you want with the infinitive. So, for example, I am going to play, je vais jouer. We are going to visit, nous allons visiter. You are going to sing, tu vas chanter. So, it's simply that verb aller plus whatever fin infinitive you want. Let's have a little practice then. So, we've got seven sentences and it is the infinitive that is missing. We've got the infinitives underneath. So first of all, have a read through those infinitive. You've got jouer, visiter, aller, faire, regarder, aller again, and manger. So have a think about what you think they are in English. And therefore, then you should be able to match them up to the top. So on your pieces of paper, number one to seven, and tell me which verbs go where. I should give you a few seconds to do that. If you need more, pause me, come back to me. Off you go. And the answers are numéro 1, je vais jouer au football. I am going to play football. Numéro 2, je vais visiter la Tour Eiffel. I am going to visit the Eiffel Tower. Numéro 3, elle va regarder un film. She is going to watch a film. 4, il va aller au cinéma. He is going to go to the cinema. 5, Nous allons manger une pizza. We are going to eat a pizza. 6. Ils vont aller au café. They are going to go to the café. Et finalement, numéro 7. Vous allez faire les magasins. You're going to go shopping. Remember, that's the one where you don't use the aller to go. It's faire les magasins because you do the shops. Très bien. I hope you got seven ticks there. Another gap fill, but the opposite this time. So with the different parts of alle that are missing, they are underneath to help you. So number one to seven, and write down which ones go where. 
Off you go. Right, let's have a look then. Numéro 1, je vais à la partie noire. I am going to the ice rink. Numéro 2, on va au monument. We are going to the monuments. Numéro 3, tu vas au centre de loisirs. Are you going to the leisure centre? 4, il va au musée. He's going to the museum. 5, nous allons à la piscine. We are going to the swimming pool. 6, ils vont au café. They are going to the café. Et finalement, 7, vous allez au marché. Are you going to the market? I hope you've got seven big ticks. Très bien. Right, we're going to look at the question. Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire le weekend? What are you going to do at the weekend? And here are some simple sentences for that question. Le week-end, je vais visiter Paris. Je vais aller au musée. Je vais manger une pizza. Je vais faire les magasins. Et puis en anglais, at the weekend, I'm going to visit Paris. I'm going to go to the museum. I'm going to eat a pizza. I'm going to go shopping. So nice sentences, but obviously far too simple. So we're going to put it into a paragraph as opposed to being single sentences. And we're going to use the connectives to help us. So these you might have met already. So we've got d'abord, first of all, et for and, après for afterwards, puis for then, and ensuite for next. So let's have a look at them now. So we have them in a paragraph now. So we've got the same sentences, but it's just been improved by using those connectives. Okay, d'abord, le week-end, je vais visiter Paris et je vais aller au musée. Après, je vais manger une pizza et ensuite, je vais faire les magasins. So just by adding those in, you massively improve uh, the sentences by putting them into a nice paragraph and it flows so much better. So, on your pieces of paper, you'll need to pause me because you might need a little bit longer. Do the same as me, write three or four sentences, simple sentences from this slide and the others, and then put them into a paragraph by adding in those connectives. So just see how easy it is to go from a simple sentence to a longer paragraph. So we have that paragraph at the beginning that we've just seen on the last slide which is good but not good enough how are we going to improve it we're going to improve it by adding in opinions this time so the opinions we've already met but we're using ce sera for it will be so by adding those opinions in we end up with an even better paragraph d'abord le weekend je vais visiter paris et je vais aller au musée ce sera génial Après, je vais manger une pizza et ensuite, je vais faire les magasins. Et ce sera sympa. So, first of all, at the weekend, I'm going to visit Paris and I'm going to go to the museum. It will be great. Afterwards, I'm going to eat a pizza and then I am going to go shopping and it will be nice. So, just by adding in the opinions, we improve our sentence even more. I hope we're taking notes because we're going to be doing this at the end. So we've started with our simple sentences, we've added our connectives, we've added our opinions. Obviously that's not enough for me, we need to add in something else and it is in our intensifiers. So by adding them in, in front of our opinions, it makes it even better. So this is all things that we've done before, so it's just a reminder of how you start with some simple sentences and you can improve it by adding in those little things that you already know. We have a beautiful paragraph, but not beautiful enough for me. So we're going to add one last thing in, our opinion openers. A mon avis, pour moi, ou je pense que. And there you can see them now. So let's have a read of the paragraph together. Alors, d'abord, le week-end, je vais visiter Paris et je vais aller au musée. A mon avis, ce sera vraiment génial. Après, je vais manger une pizza et ensuite je vais faire les magasins. Et je pense que sera très sympa. Now we have an amazing paragraph. 
So we asked the question, qu'est-ce que tu vas faire le weekend? What did we do? We started with a simple sentence, le weekend je vais visiter Paris. We then improved it by adding in our connectives, je vais visiter Paris, et puis aller au musée. We then added in our opinion, ce sera génial. We then added in our intensifier, ce sera vraiment génial. And we finished by adding in our opinion opener, à mon avis, ce sera vraiment génial. So now, with all the information that you've got and that what we've done on the last two lessons, I would like you to write a paragraph answering the question, qu'est-ce que tu vas faire le weekend? By remembering to add in your connectives, your opinions, your intensifiers, your opinion openers, and any other details you can. So I want to see a beautiful paragraph written in answer to that question. Au revoir et à bientôt.